Hey, how y'all doing? I want to show y'all exactly how to create a zap where you are getting a lead who signed up from a ad, in this case, Facebook ad, and they signed up from a lead form. And I want to incorporate them into my CRM. I'm going to show you how to do that. All right, let's say we got a lead that just signed up on this ad, right? If I go to Zapier, uh, the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to create our trigger. And in this case, it's going to be a lead form trigger. So anyone who signs up on that ad, on that form, um, they're going to, we're going to get their information. So as you can see, we've got their information already. So we're just going to hit continue and hit continue. Okay, so now um, I'm using high level, which is lead connector. And what I want to do, if, if I do this, it's going to ask for their first name, last name, full name, phone number, email address. Now, if I go to the lead form, it doesn't have the first name as an option. See, it doesn't have, you know, any their information as an option for, for me to input their first name. It only has their first name and last name. So what I need to do is I need to create a action called formatter. And what formatter would do, and this is crazy, formatter would do anything you want. It can take text, it can split it apart, it can extract certain things that you want to extract from the text, and it can extract the email address. So if someone emails you and they give you their email address in the email or somehow or something, then it, uh, it'll read the text and extract the email from it, and you can add that person to a follow-up CRM. So it's really robotic, it's automated. So what I'm doing is I'm going to, I'm not going to extract any numbers. It can also extract numbers. It can extract phone numbers. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do what's called split the text. I'm going to split the name up. So I'm going to split up the first name from the last name. And then once I do that, I'm going to input what I want to split up. And the full name is what I want to split. I want to split up the first name from the last. And then I'm going to go ahead and um, test the action, which is what I already did. And then I'm going to go to the CRM. Now I'm in the CRM. This my CRM is asking for first name and last name. I'm going to input. See, I can't input the first and last. All I can do is go to this text and input the first name. See how I did that? Um, I don't really negate the last name. I'm just going to keep the first name. The full name, I put that in there anyway. Uh, the phone number, I put that in there anyway. The email, I put that in there. And then that's it. Um, that's that that this helps me understand um, how to make sure this is super super customized. So now um, now that I got them in there, they'll automatically be inputted from that ad. And as soon as they get inputted from that ad, they go straight to this text message. And my text message is automated, but it's personalized. Um, one of the best ways to get a hold of people. Uh, the first thing you ought to understand is when you get leads, the number one thing you need to do is establish communication, period. You got to have comms. In the Marine Corps, we call it comms. You got to have comms. If you don't have comms, how do you even know that they're reading your stuff and, and you know, you, they got to reply? So one of the easiest ways to get comms is to ask them, hey, that's it. <laughs> hey, and it's the simplest way, but uh, because... Um, people are so used to automation, they're so used to seeing the same stuff from people, they know it's robots. So when you do it like this, they, they don't think it's a robot, they think it's really you. So they will reply, hey. So I said, hey, first name. Then uh, a minute later, I reply and say, hey, I just I just happened to be on the computer while you're sending up and you requested to see uh, the ad campaign that we're using to get my client at 9K in the first day. So that's right. So that's me replying one minute later, appearing and telling them, hey, I just happened to be on the line and I saw that you signed up. I just wanted to tell you that's what you wanted, right? And that way is reminding them of what they wanted because they just signed up. The best time to get leads and to get comms is, is the moment, the, the within 
one second from them signing up because they're in still in that mode of I remember what I just did. You know, if you wait one minute, they're like forgetting. And then five minutes later, email them. So it's powerful. Um, what else I do is I use Intercom, and that's my online chat widget. And what happens is anytime they go to my website or anything, my chat follows them and talks to them based on the actions that they're taking on the website. So for example, um, let me just put that over there. For example, after my next thing, so let us let me just finish this. Um, phone, email, done, blah, blah, blah. Uh, should be pretty much it. Um, I like to source this too. So by what I mean by source is I, I, I like to tell, I like to know exactly where my leads are coming from. So I'm going to say Facebook, fag book, campaign name, ad set name, ad name. That way I know exactly what campaign ad set and ad it came from. Mark is a lead. Yes. Any notes? And I can actually use FB for platform, just so that it's, I don't really have to, but I can. But no, no notes. Pipe, and then I'll just add them to my pipe. My lead form pipe. And that's pretty much it. Assign to user. I can assign it to myself. Continue. So right now, if they sign up on the ad, they're going to go straight to my my CRM, and my CRM is going to going to email them and text them and, and all that stuff. All right. So next, I want to do something else. I don't want to turn it on yet. I want to do one more thing. I'm going to add them to my intercom. So what this means is when they sign up. As a lead, I'm going to text them and email them. Then, if they go to my website, my website is going to remember them, and it's going to say, my, my chat is going to say, "Hey, Brian, it's nice to see you again. Thanks for signing up on my ad a while back. Um, how you been?" And then it's going to talk to them. So it's it's important that we establish comms, and then we start a conversation, because conversations lead to sales conversations. Sales conversations lead to sales. Sales lead to clients. So, um, I can create a user, add them to my intercom, so I just created this person as a user. So now what happens is, when they sign up, they become a lead, they get text and the email, and then after that, um, I'll send them stuff. I'll send them to my blog, send them to my website. If they click an ad and go to my website, well, no matter what, it's going to follow them and say, hey, how you been? I just I remember you signing up from that ad and we didn't get a chance to talk. Or uh, it, it has formalities so that whenever they do something, it responds. If whenever they don't do something, it responds. Um, if they didn't book a call yet and – he's on this list, then it'll talk to him on the website and say, hey, you haven't had a chance to book the call, just want to know why. So it's really powerful. Hope this helped.